Hi, Melanie Minchinger here, illustrator for Gina K Designs. Today I have a new project for you with my newest set from Gina K Designs, Fill It With Flowers. And today we're going to be using the milk bottle and the daisy in that set. So you'll notice that we have got an open area here on the milk bottle. That is for some two-step stamping so that you can add either this bow, the raffia wrap, or this label, which is what I'm using today. So each of these individual words or handwritten greetings will fit on that label. And then I'm also going to be using the use so much, which is gonna go with thank, love, and miss. So a lot of possibilities with those greetings. Just a couple changes we're making to this card. On this particular one, I use the dotted cuddle bug folder on the black layer. It's kind of hard to see though, so I really wanted that to stand out a little bit more. And I took my inspiration for this folder from the center of that flower and the little dots on the label. But it's just such a happy cuddle bug folder. I really, really like this texture a lot. The other products that you're going to need for this card, this is the Gina K Pure Luxury Passionate Pink. I've got some white and then some black onyx. So this layer is two and one eighth by four and three quarters inches got a Memento Tuxedo Black Pad for all of my stamping. Just got a couple blocks here that I'm using. So I've got one that's two by three and then a smaller one for stamping that greeting and the label. I have got another scrap that I'm going to use to cut out that little tied single bow of the raffia. Got some Spectrum Raw markers that we're going to be coloring with today. So I've got the CG3 and the DG3 for coloring that stem. I've got the PL3, the BP6, and the PP6 for doing the petals. I've got the BGR2 for doing my shadow. And then I have got the EB2 and the GB8 for doing the shadow and the coloring on my raffia wrap. And then just a little EB6 that we're gonna add to the center of that flower with the GB8. You might also want to have a white gel pen if your shadows get a little bit dark on the glass bottle then you can go over it with the white pen to add some little highlights and then instead of the stitched ribbon um, when i originally was going to make this card i thought i had some raffia so that's what i was going to use to match this little bow but i didn't have any so now i have some so that's what we're going to be using today to substitute for that all right so let's get started on our stamping I'm going to start by stamping the milk bottle and I'm going to leave a little bit of room at the bottom to create a shadow and I'm going to stamp it just a little bit to the left of this panel so that I can have my daisy going off to the right. Okay, And then we will add the label. Very easy to see to line up the raffia is just a tiny bit wider to look like it's actually going around the bottle. Pardon my head for a second. You're just gonna lean it over and line those sides up. Okay. And then I'm gonna put the thank in there. It's right in the middle. And then I'm gonna add the use so much below it. But this label can go over either of the wraps in this as well when you cut it out. So let me go ahead and stamp this little bow on my scrap. And we'll cut that out after we color it. So right there. And then the last thing we want to do is our daisy. So depending on which container you put this in, you may or may not need to mask the label, but so you can see it's a little bit longer. So if you have a lot taller mat, you can just stamp it at the top of that. It's not gonna go all the way to the bottom of the bottle, but that's okay. The reason for that is the stem can be resting on the front lip of the bottle and then the back edge of that bottle. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm just going to mask the label because I don't wanna go in through that but I can stamp it over the bottle since I'm doing a clear glass look. Okay, so I'm gonna have it leaning just a little bit that way. Remove that, okay. And let's go ahead and add our shadows to this bottle. Okay, so I'm gonna put some just along this lip here, and then I'm just gonna follow the contour lines just a little bit 
of that bottle. And then I want to make a little puddle below it and you can see how the daisy is coming down. So if the light is coming down, casting a shadow out like this. Okay. And then I'm skipping, I want to have a little white highlight here, but this is showing the round inside of that bottle. So that's the width of the glass there. So leave just a tiny little white outline and then just a few little streaks coming up. And that's enough, that's all you need to set that off from the white background. And this will get darker in here if you layer back over it again. And then if you want to use this white pen, you can add just some touches of it. It might be hard to see in the video, but I can see it here. So just adding just some little shine to that there. Okay, now let's go ahead. I'm going to color this little bow. So I'm going to use the EB2 all over it and we're cutting it out so remember we don't have to worry about getting inside the lines and then I'm going to use this GB8 which is a little bit darker to go inside that bow and then underneath here on that bottom part okay so let's cut that out real quick Oh, and we're going to need some adhesive, so I need to grab that. forgot to show that at the beginning. And you can pop up these layers with some foam squares. Or you could use a little glue dot. Or just a regular old tape runner. Okay, so we're just going to put that right there. But see, you can use these on the individual stems of these flowers when you don't have them in the container. So that's just a sweet little touch. That you can do or use the wider raffia wrap if you have several flowers together okay so let's go ahead and color in this flower so i'm going to start hang on that was a little bit darker than i wanted this is actually the medium shade the top looked a little bit different to me so i'm not going to go all the way out to the edge sorry about that i grabbed the wrong one just call an audible here and keep going the back ones are going to be a little bit darker than the ones in front, so you can go ahead and color the full back one in with that darker pink. So I just go down out towards the tip of the flower, but not all the way. Okay, and then let's use this lighter one. This is the PP6. There we go. There we go. Now you'll find that when you use these lighter alcohol markers, the more that you go over something you have already colored with a darker shade with one of these light ones, it will lighten up because you're adding more alcohol to the paper. So that will lighten up. Don't worry if you went a little darker than you wanted. And let's add in our darkest shade, which is this PL3. So this one is kind of a like a fuchsia color, kind of a purple. And I'm just going to go just along little tiny flicks near the center, following those little veins in the illustration that give it just some texture. I can put that on the back, back ones. Okay, now let's do the stem, the light green. And I'm also just going to go across that in a straight line. You can dot in individual ones if you want to have different colors. That would be cute too. And then we're going to use the darker one just underneath. And we can blend that in the middle. Okay. Now you can do the middle green if you want, but I chose to do the brown. So we're going to grab this GB8. This was the darker shade we used on the raffia. So just swirl that in there. And then I'm going to go just inside. And I'm just making like a little O. And that's going to make this look like a dome. You're seeing that highlight in the middle. And that's it. That's all the color I'm going to do for that. So we need to go ahead and just layer this onto our mat and our base. So I'm just going to take this and I'm just going to wrap it around a couple times. 
This just adds some nice texture and I just love how it matches the stamping. Let's get that centered there. And if you want, you know, you can make a real bow, but I just love having these little stamps that I can put wherever I want. There. That's going to go right here. And to show you something funny, I misplaced one of my B plates. You need both B plates for doing these embossing folders if you're using a cuddle bug. And I couldn't find one of the B plates, so I grabbed a stack of large envelopes to use as a shim. What that ended up doing is it made the X pattern here where there's those folds in the envelope. So that's for another time. That's just kind of an interesting look. So play around with um, different things in your uh, cuddle bug as shims and see what kind of patterns they produce. I know you've seen before in videos where people do that with die cuts, but that's just one more thing that you can use, kind of a low tech way to create an interesting texture on your card. Okay, so we're gonna put this back here. Just love everything the design team made with my set this month. Had some beautiful samples in our hop. And then here and here. Normally I would use white, but my white ones aren't handy. And just layer this right over that. Oh, that's so fun. I love that with the raffia. So it's a really nice accent. Oh, and I forgot. Let's go ahead and put in just some of this pink to the label. So use the purple here. And then this lighter pink here. And the card's complete. I hope this gives you some ideas for how to use some of the different elements in my set. Of course, I will be covering all of them. Let me get just a little bit of adhesive for that. My crazy tape runner. So just a little adhesive on the back there. For all of my different sets, or excuse me, all of the different parts and pieces in here, those different wraps. And next week I'll be showing the paper and the eucalyptus, I believe, which I showed in our blog hop. But email me if you have requests for different ones that you would like to see. Thank you for watching today. Please visit my blog, Hands, Head, and Heart, for more ideas and inspiration using all of our stamp sets. And visit us at Gina K Designs and Stamp TV for more of our stamps. Thank you for watching today. God bless.